What a cliffhanger. And how did Mash arrive through his uh, flight muscles, right? Because remember in season one, he was basically like doing this with his feet during Quidditch and he was able to, you know, maintain his flight. He came back to save Wahlberg, you know, from Innocent Zero because Innocent Zero is some actual bullshit, bro. Bro has the ability to just like rewind time even though Wahlberg pretty much won at the cost of sacrificing himself. But I'd argue because Innocent Zero rewinded, we no longer have to bear the consequences of the thirds that, you know, Wahlberg used, right? Now, Match is back. How is he actually flying? Let's begin today's reaction. Okay. That's right, Space Thirds. Oh, it's like a domain expansion and Bankai in one. And then bro went rewind time, right? And then he just went rewind time, right? But... <laughs> he just need his fucking dad. <laughs> okay. Now, how is he, like, still flying? There goes his staff, I guess? Was that his staff? Oh, this is what he said to him in season one, right? The question he proposed. I would simply win. How is he, how is he flying? Come on. Come on. Yeah. See, this is why they didn't, like, show this in the last episode. Because, like, last episode at the end, it was very dramatic and epic. But it's like, you know, you can't just, like, break the immersion through this, like, goofy-ass, you know, brrr. So they save it for here. We kicked his staff out. Right? Mash kicked the staff. Oh, they're talking about how stuff kind of, like, went back. And what, um... Yo, this narcissist, he talks big, but I have yet to see him do anything just yet, bro. <laughs> Look at him flying. <laughs> We're floating. What do you mean? Ooh, what a polite kid. Yes, you're a fucking boomer. I gotta help you cross the road, old man. Hello, father. Does Mash accept him as his dad, though? Is he trying to, like, order us? Hmm? Huh? Time capsule? He can steal others' magical abilities? What the fuck? Alright, he can do that too. But like, won't Mash just like... Punch out? And like, somehow like, tear through it? Uh, yeah, 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 like that. But we already got his power? Does this mean Wahlberg no longer has facial magic? Because he said steal, not copy. Damn. Even Mash can't just take a direct hit like that, right? You can't just punch that. What now, bro? Yeah, he's built diff. Innocent Zero's attacks are even stronger than Wahlberg's, but we got Mash. Interesting how he was able to like steal the staff too, huh? I know he stole the power, but like this is like I thought this I don't know, I thought the staff would like stay with Wahlberg. Nah, he should be good. Why is he taking all these hits? You could just like, you know, no damage. No damage, I see. Oh. Oh, 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 wait! What? 
What's his weakness? Oh, it's like too much for him. Okay. Mash his body. The physical... So like all this like strength memes. At the end of the day, Innocent Zero had a plan such that this boy would be the ultimate vessel that could contain all the powers. That's why he smashes so fucking strong. All these like physical, you know, feats that he has. It was all just to contain the different magic that Innocent Zero would steal. Things are making more sense now. It is very creepy when his head starts, you know, fluctuating with the fucking Lego blocks. Does he understand what's going on? <laughs> he truly doesn't give a fuck about the plot. <laughs> why though he can't use magic though? Like why is that a condition as well? On top of his like ridiculous body. Just a uh, mash will dodge with you. Yeah, easy. Play me dodging shit in midair by just kicking the air still. I know. Light Kane. Light Kane will show up the narcissist, Skuna's voice actor. He's been all he's been doing is talk shit, look at the fucking mirror and say how hot I am, right? He's got a clutch today, right? Or maybe Mashwell? Main character energy? Can you do it? Uh, maybe? Yeah? Maybe? Is he ignorant? Is he a genius? Who knows? Wait! You pussy, you can't run away now! No! Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> gonna go fucking run away and get more milk? Dad's gonna go away. Whoa, 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 what was that? How do you stop that? How do you stop that? How do you speed that was the point of the magic? I thought he was gonna like shoot the beam down and kill everything. They're a useful sacrifice to take back. Oh wait, there's one more threat. Hold on. Giant monster titan. Shingeki no Kyojin now. I mean a big monster like this, like, it's just a random monster. Like we should be able to kill it. <laughs> he'll do it, then he'll eat a cream puff during the middle of the fight. Dad's left for another pack of cigarettes, guys. Okay, I mean, if Wahlberg is like hyping this monster up, maybe it's actually really important. <laughs> Imagine he doesn't catch him. Kane, like Kane. Here we go. In the end, I make it just in time during the crisis. That's why I shut the fuck up, bitch. There were so many different pinches. You showed up at the very, very end when Innocent Zero fucking left, dude. What do you mean you showed up during a crisis? You showed up during like the most pointless moment, dude. Like, this dude talked all that shit just to catch Wahlberg? Show me what you got, Ryo. <laughs> Above. Ryo's not even gonna beat the monster either. Mash will. Ryo literally only existed to catch Wahlberg here in this arc. Uh, uh, recap? This is deja vu, right? Time is moving. Yeah, none of them even know what just happened, huh? What? Dragon? What? Dot? 
Because they were all like unworthy people that shouldn't have been awakened, help, right? I mean, honestly, like whenever I see in anime like big just monsters like this, I'm never really like threatened too much, right? Do you guys feel threatened by this monster? It looks spooky and big, but at the end of the day, if you compare it with like an actual magician like Innocent Zero or other people, this thing just feels like there's like an annoying trivial monster that we're going to be able to defeat no matter what. It's got a pretty spooky design, but beyond that, is it actually that threatening? Ooh, strong! Mesh! Wait, what? Where did the sister's voice come from? This is schizo. This is like total Aoi and Jujutsu Kaisen's level of schizo right now, right? Because Lemons was screaming, and then he like envisioned in his head, like, oh, my little sister's screaming. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened, right? <laughs> what was that cutscene, bro? <laughs> the sister's just gonna be just calling out for help from now on, huh? Just in his head. Okay. <laughs> Dot solo? Dot solo? Okay. It's got some like shield or anti magic stuff. Yo, he needs to take off his fucking headband and activate his like third eye. Oh, there's someone else out here with the anti-magic barrier still? Okay, Gara's going for him. <laughs> they can't even leave the Coliseum. For the sake of my sister. I wonder if Lance qualifies as uh, Margaret's dip sauce. Is... Which monster did it? Sorry. Who has the anti-magic barrier? Who else is still around? You'd have to get married first to go on your honeymoon, Lemon. What the fuck? I mean, honestly, Lemon's delusions might be even stronger than Lance's delusions. Look at all these NPCs that I've never seen before. Mash. Mash? Cream Puff Boy! What? 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 Who stopped it? Cream Puff Boy. Holy shit, that almost killed him. What the fuck is stopping him? Who's moving it? Drag back with rope? Yeah, it's gotta be mashed in. If it nullifies magic, it's physical strength. Yeah, okay, we're tug of war right now. Okay. Wonder how heavy this thing is. Now I understand. You know how I was disrespecting the monster for just being a big thing? You know, it's like, oh, wow, scary big thing. But no. Yes and no. Yes, it's not that intimidating at the grand scheme of the day. But because it's so big, it highlights Mash's feats here of just pulling on that huge ass thing with the chains. Okay, okay. Belt how? Is your heart going doki doki? Yo, we're doing an actual fucking tug of war competition with this thing. Yeah, it is. This is a muscle magic. Yep. Damn, the entire school is witnessing this too. Then do something about a bitch! Fucking help! These fucking prejudiced NPCs still, in this moment, when MASH is saving their ass, he's like, oh. He can't use magic. Oh, we can't let him be the top. Why don't you fucking go in there and help him then, huh? Why don't you fucking prove it with your magic? Oh. Yo, he's bleeding at the fingers, gripping this. Cheer form or something, huh? There we go. Doesn't matter though, okay. 
I don't know who this NPC is, but good NPC. Dub. Come, buddy. You can do it. All cheering him on now. This is actually great. Man, we just need a moment like this for Yumelia in fucking level 99 villainous. Yes. Without magic, he's flipping everything upside down. This is actually so... I love moments like this. This is a, maybe like a cliche trope, but whenever there's something really important going on, there's an entire audience, and they go from like maybe like hating the guy to like cheering him on. So like, what happens if um, Mash is like pulling on it, and then the monster kind of gets like defeated, or maybe even lets goes, and like, so he's pulling hard. He lets goes, then he falls back, and then crushes the Colosseum here, and every one of the people that's cheering for him just dies. Gambare. Gambare. Yeah. Oh, his words reached him. And everybody's watching this. Okay, everybody's watching this. Good, 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 good. Whoa. Bounce. One, two, three, maybe? The power of Yaoi triumphs all. Lemon got beat, bro. <laughs> Lemon got beat. Nah, nah, nah. You were second here. See, your voice didn't reach MASH though, huh? The power of Yaoi actually prevailed. Wait, eat up, wait. Is it feeding? Is it feeding him with the cream puff right now? I'm sorry, Lemon. You're forever just gonna lose. Wahlberg. Wahlberg's gonna live, right? Like half his face got fucked up, but like, should be okay. Let's go, Mushroom Head. Mash burned dead, huh? Protect the weak. Strong protects the weak. And that's the episode. And honestly, I don't know what the author is doing with Ryo. Because this guy is super hyped up to be like the strongest divine visionary, yet he has yet to do anything. So I'm hoping that they're saving him to be like hyped up for the future arcs, right? Because like, if they're intentionally making him kind of stall and prevent him from the really dangerous moments for him to get involved, that means that he's gotta be that next level and he will be able to pop off in the next arcs, right? That is, that, that is my cope theory. Or he truly is just fucking useless and he just con continuously just like gonna just pick up scraps while saying, mm -hmm, it is I who saves the day. But it's like, no, bro. You showed up at the fucking last minute and just caught Wahlberg, but it is what it is. I think the most important plot point today is Mash's existence and why he's so strong. Because like, Innocent Zero can steal magic. If Innocent Zero can steal magic, his body, the vessel, cannot contain it. But Mash, because he's so durable, because he's so strong, that's why, you know, he's that, that that's his purpose. That's why he's designed like that. Now, I wonder why he specifically has no magic. That part of the answers, that part of the question is not answered. But at the very least, we kind of do know why he's so fucking strong for no reasons. It's not just like a, it's not just like, it's not just like a running gag, right? It is and it isn't. There's like an important element to the plot, you know, for that. Uh, there are some other nice moments for like, you know, the, the rest of the students just like immediately just being, oh shit, this fucking no using magic losers, bro. Can we allow this? And then one fucking NPC was like, yeah, we can. And then everybody starts cheering. This is some of my favorite moments in anime where it's like a huge crowd of people are witnessing an event and they're like cheering out their hearts for it. It's just like, it's so good, man. It just like connects with me so deep. I love shit like this. Now, I think there's like one more episode to wrap up the season. I'm sure maybe it's going to do some little bit of closure. Maybe it's going to like lead into season three content, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.